awesome people, it's Anissa, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about our tips on flying with a toddler and an infant. We recently took a flight from Seattle, Washington to Maui in Hawaii, and this is what we've learned and things that we're gonna change for the next flight. Look at this, it. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> This will be our third flight with little T, so we are familiar with flying with just one child, and we started flying with her when she was three months old. But this is our first time flying with two little kiddos. We have our toddler who is just under two and a half years old, and then our infant is four months old in this video. Our first tip is to get a taxi, a Lyft, or an Uber from your home directly to the airport. So this will minimize the amount of waiting time that you'll have to do outside. This is much more convenient than actually using a shuttle service and parking your car, say, a um, couple blocks or even a mile away from the airport. You can also park your car at the airport, but that can get pretty expensive. We also like to check the car seats right upon check-in along with our bags and this just frees up the amount of stuff that we have to carry. Most airlines don't charge anything for a car seat, and the other option is to check it in at the gate. The easiest way to move about the airport with a little infant is to carry them. So I'm using a baby carrier and then I'm carrying baby T and also carrying the diaper bag. My husband Matt is gonna be managing little T as we go through the airport and then he's also carrying our carry-on bag which has our change of clothes. I'll get to that in a little bit. In the event that your toddler's gonna get tired or doesn't wanna walk around the airport, you'll have to carry them. Now if you don't have that option, I suggest investing in a toddler carrier such as these ones right here or a compact stroller. Once you get to the gate and right before boarding the plane, you can check those right in. Now if you do that, you'll have to wait when everyone's getting off the plane to collect your items at the gate as well. We didn't do that, but as you can see here, little T has her own little backpack and she does really well just walking around the airport. The safest way to travel with a baby is to have them sit in their car seat on the plane. We didn't do that. We are just gonna have our baby as a lap infant and then our toddler is gonna have her own seat. All right, let's get on the plane. My next tip is to bring disinfectant wipes when you get to your seat and you just wanna wipe down the um, handles on the seat and then also the tray and maybe even the touch screen for the TV. When taking off and landing, the ear pressure might really hurt little babies and then you'll hear all these babies start crying. So to help that out, if you are still breastfeeding or bottle feeding, I would suggest holding off on any of the fluids until takeoff. Now, if you have a toddler who's not on the bottle anymore, I suggest giving something like a sucker, a lollipop. We're giving her little bits of Starburst and then also having her take sips of water upon takeoff and then also upon landing. And this is just to help them swallow and um, repressurize their ears so it doesn't hurt so much. For my international viewers, you might not know this, but almost all American and Canadian airlines don't offer complimentary meals. So you either have to pay a really high amount to get food on the plane, or you can also pack your own food, and that's what I've done here. Hawaiian Airlines does give you a breakfast um, or lunch dinner roll. So this is the breakfast item that they gave us. It was like on a Hawaiian roll with egg and cheese in it. My husband had mine. I actually don't eat eggs or cheese. I'm plant-based and my daughter also doesn't really like um, eggs at all. So with that, I always make sure to pack our own meals and snacks. So for this trip, I made apple stuffed cinnamon pancakes. I made a wrap and then I also made a bento box for our little tea, as you can see here, so she can have her whole meal. Um, right on the plane. Definitely pack any snacks that they absolutely love or any new snacks that might be intriguing for them. Just have a lot of snacks if you're having toddlers. Hawaiian Airlines also gave us local Hawaiian cookies. Those were delicious and she ate a bunch of those as well. To entertain our toddler on the flight, we packed some thin books along with this drawing pad that she loves and then we also preloaded the iPad with some educational games for her. Um, my husband picked this one, it's like PBS Games. We've actually never given her the iPad to play with, and so this is like her first time actually playing with iPad on the plane, so that was pretty exciting for her. 
Hawaiian Airlines had a TV screen that had touchscreen and she also enjoyed watching Baby Shark on there. Now I didn't pack any toddler headphones and I definitely would suggest packing some of those. She wasn't able to listen to anything on the little TV screen. However, she enjoyed just watching the pictures. And then for our infant, I love this book by Love Every and that comes in one of their play kits. Uh, and it just has different pages. This one's got like different ribbons and you can switch up the cards here. Noisemaker, just a nice crinkly book. So I'll be packing this again for future travels. I would definitely pack a lot more entertaining items like a sticker book, a drawing pad, that magic marker for toddlers because they just need something to keep them busy. I'm gonna look into quiet books even, um, things that they can do with their hands. I spilled water myself. Anyways, as some of you might know, we also practice elimination communication, which is infant potty training. And we do bring a little potty. I bring this insert and I also pack a to-go potty. I packed both of them in my diaper bag. And that was for our toddler and our infant, the four month old. So we do potty our babies on the plane when we can. And I also use cloth diapers. Even when we're traveling, we still try to use as many cloth diapers as we can. I do pack some disposables for emergencies. Comment below if you want a separate video on how we do illumination communication when we travel or how we do cloth diapering when we travel. Landing was much harder on the kids and they were crying most of the times or just really upset but they did the best they could. I think we were one of like five or six different kids that were on the plane. There are COVID vaccination requirements when traveling to Hawaii. Definitely check if there are any changes that are happening. I know this video is coming out later. The situation is changing and the requirements are getting less restricted. I do suggest bringing your own car seat. You can rent a car seat. The cheapest I've seen um, for rentals are about $12 a day and it couldn't go up to about $20 a day. So definitely consider just bringing your own car seat. So once we got to Maui, my husband Matt actually left us at the airport with all our luggage and stuff and he went over to go get the rental car. And we did this because we thought it would be easier and just be more comfortable for the kids, especially my toddler, to just go and play around in the dirt, look at the birds and look for lizards while my husband got the rental car. You can travel to Maui without renting a car. However, I highly suggest renting a car so you'll be able to just drive around the island and enjoy more of it. in Maui for a total of 10 nights and soon enough our trip came to an end and we had to head back to Seattle. It was really hectic actually trying to get checked in into the airplane and my husband Matt dropped off the vehicle and I was alone with the kids and all our luggage so I didn't film any of that. So I'm gonna talk about our carry-on. two carry-ons. One is a diaper bag, and then the second carry-on is gonna have any of the entertaining items and important documentation and extra clothes, and then also our change of clothes. Now, we are traveling from Maui, which their winters are very warm, and you can just easily wear something that I'm wearing right now. I wore this purposely for our travel to Maui. It has buttons that go down so I can easily breastfeed my child. And then once we are on the plane, I change everybody to warm pants and also into a sweater. And then I have a sweater, which I'll change now. So this is a nice, lovely hoodie that is actually maternity friendly and it has these zippers, 
one on each side that open up so it has easy access, very discreet. And so on the plane, I just changed my clothes from my summer clothes into winter clothes when we arrive into Seattle because it's really cold. I also changed from shorts into leggings and for leggings, you'll wanna make sure you have pockets on the side so you can keep all your essentials right there. And then once we've arrived into Seattle, we've got all our clothes changed. I strapped the baby carrier on, got baby tea going, and uh, my husband Matt has our toddler. She was getting really, really tired as it was 11.30 at night when we arrived into Seattle. So I kept giving her um, little high chews. So any candies that I had to keep her sugar high so she would just keep going and stay happy. Once we got our bags, we requested for a car and we only had to wait about five minutes for the car to arrive. And then it took another five minutes to install the car seats. Comment below if you would like to see what we pack on our trips. We try to pack very little. The next trip that we're taking is actually gonna be me by myself with the two kids. So we'll see how that goes, but I'll be flying from Seattle to California. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and watch this video next, our day trip in Seattle, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.